there are some 44 competitors involved with various scooters from 50 cc's up to 70 cc's and even a few 125's all riders from Macau and I have to say they are very brave indeed to even attempt this amazing track on a scooter they are not headed for the shops they are racing and racing seriously I note there are a lot more sponsors this year but around the streets of Macau it seems appropriate to have a moped race around the streets five laps in all and alongside meet Macau royalty a two-time winner of the Macau Grand Prix both in Formula 3 and of course last year in the gear race he is the current champion as somebody almost goes off wide into Lisboa Jörg Muller, Jörg what do you think of this? I really love it I mean uh, my brother's got a, sh a scooter shop and um, and they just sound like 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 beans I like the uh, two-stroke uh, sound around here you know, see these, these brave guys, I mean, everyone knows how dangerous Macau is, and they're going around on scooters. Uh, they oh, back in Germany. Yeah, real boys, aren't they? Coming into Melko. I've been to the technical scouting um, yesterday when I saw these scooters, uh, you know, in the paddock, and I talked to the technical scouting and um, he told me that they have to prepare special um, fuel tanks, because last year they were just doing two or where they normally have their, their um, helmets, they put a second tank inside. That's uh, really fun, fun stuff. I would have thought physically this must be exhausting too because you don't get a lot of comfort on a scooter. You've got to head down man and he does that in style. Takes a look over his shoulder, now gets his head down again as he crosses the line. We'll take a look at his time from a standing start. And that was an impressive 3.34.3. .3. Now in qualifying, he did a 3.34.5. So uh, he's right on his qualifying pace. That is brilliant stuff done by Lai. And it's three lies, in fact, first, second, and third at the moment. Asek Mai is another one on a 70cc. Feels spread out. Only here in, um, in the Chinese and Japanese area, also in Europe. I mean, there's some Italian stuff in there, there's some um, yeah, Piaggio yeah. Sips. That's uh, Kin Fai Chan in his own battle. And he's currently in sixth position, chasing the pole position man, Lioi, who didn't get away well at all from the start. In fact, last year's winner is in fifth position at the moment with work to do, no question about it. Number one guy or number 68 guy. At the moment. I wanted to look for, for the paddocks, really. I thought they're gonna have a, they're, they will have a paddock like we have. <laughs> um, but, but all of these Macau guys, they, they, went, they just pushed their, their scooter back to the workshop somewhere in the hills, so I couldn't find any of the teams. Do you mean they don't have you know, guys all dressed in the same team uniforms and 45 guys working on their car like you do? I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I'm ashamed not, but um, I've seen, oh, look, he's, he's going slow already. He doesn't want Oh, no, oh. he's out! Oh, well, could it be a fuel problem? Because he's just literally cruising now down the waterfront towards our bend and now has to look over his shoulder and watch as they all file by because that is the end of his race and into the lead will go lie number 11 who takes the lead brilliantly with the sun going down on this race but 2005 is definitely shining on him he takes victory